So I'm here tonight, uh, I'm here tonight, if I can speak correctly, with Sam Pond. Um, Sam Pond is one of our newest coaches, and uh, we brought Sam on specifically because he killed it. He came in, he was a client, you tore it up. Um, he went through lots of uh, internal issues, really faced his stuff, really worked hard. Things got rocky. They Things got, got rocky, rocky in the middle of it, but messy, I hung in there. Dirty, yeah. and then you came out the other end awesome. So, yeah. um, and you are how old? 63. And he's 63 years young. And he, uh, your, your girlfriend's how old? You still with 20. Her? You still with her? Uh, that, yeah, I think you're referring to somebody else, but I'm seeing somebody new. Oh, somebody new. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, so, so the reason we bring this up is, um, is that you, a lot of guys ask us, can I date younger women? Can I get back in the dating scene because I'm older? And Sam is here to kind of talk about that a little bit and um, talk about his uh, his his journey in that process. We're only going to do this for a few minutes because he's going to be talking much more in depth on a webinar he's got coming up in, uh, when? when? February 24th. February 24th. It's a yeah. free webinar. If you're older or you feel like you're too old, because some guys are 35 and they think they're too old, and you want to change your life. I was like that at 35, I thought. I th there was a period of my time when I was like, I'm getting old. And um, then this webinar is for you. You want to get on it. You want to talk to Sam because you felt like that at one point, didn't you? Yeah. Um, but I think all my life I felt like I was slightly behind and I attached that to my age. Mm. And so just like you said, when I was 20, I felt like, fuck, I'm going to be 21 or 29. That was the biggest, that was the hardest thing. And it came, it was all through my life until it started to slow down. That thinking, that self-limiting thought around getting older started to dissolve over the last three or four years. And then everything changed. Because I remember uh, in our first, we did a video, there's a whole, whole long interview with Sam. You guys can check it out. It's in the uh, YouTube channel somewhere. Look up Sam Pond. Uh, but you had said that 62 is the best year of your life. Oh, yeah. And then you said 63 is even getting better. Oh, absolutely. Nice. Look, man, I'm here in Los Angeles with you. How That's right. That? He might be moving to Los Angeles because he's working with us so much. I and, think um, I am moving to yeah, Los Angeles. You found, you found your neighborhood. You found, you found your girl. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I got a date on Friday night, so <laughs> <laughs> so he's tearing it up. Am I blushing? Am um, I blushing? So since this video is meant to be short, we're, um, what's one or two pointers, uh, or what's something you could say? Let's put it that way: say to guys that are older that think they're too old uh, right now. And uh, and remember, if you like the wisdom you're getting here, you want to get on that that webinar. The um, the webinar is going to be called uh, Age is Just a Story, and that's what the fate we're going to have a Facebook support group for this as well. Because it really is a story that we make up that is pushed on us from the outside. I mean, you imagine we've got this magic number, which is age 65, and I don't know where 65 came, but that's the demarcation line between uh, on your way to being old. And guys can feel this pressure. Yeah. And it's just. And, you know, it's funny, everybody says, oh, age is just a number, but they usually say that when they don't want to actually feel anything or feel the, they just say, oh yeah, age is just a number, but they don't really believe it down deep inside. And would you say you do? Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to, I, I've totally flipped my thinking about how old I am. Yeah. I'm going to live to be like 110, I decided. Nice. My health is better than it's ever been. I mean, the work that we do here is just just released all this stuff. So, I don't. Um, yeah, you travel pretty much. You, he's all over the world with us. Everywhere we go, you pretty much show up. Yeah. And um, yeah. <laughs> now I have to. <laughs> yeah, he has to now. In the beginning, he just did it on his own because yeah. he wanted to. Now he has to. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about. Uh, oh, so as you said, we ha guys have stories about their age from 29 to 39 to 49 and we had a group call the other day and about a third of the guys were in their 30s and they had huge stories around by the way every guy wants to talk about dating younger women that's like that was like nine times out of ten nine guys out of ten and the stories around that are incredible and actually most of these stories and that's for me since I don't have many stories around my age, I've got other stories that are more powerful than mm. that, that have deeper emotions. But I think I really released a lot of the belief systems and all the emotions underneath getting older. So I'm healthier than I've ever been. I've got more energy than I ever have. 
Nice. Yeah. Nice. And that has a lot to do. As you reclaim a lot of your emotional state, um, energy is amazing how much energy returns to the body. Youth, vitality. Totally. Actually, would you agree? I'm going to ask one question before we end this call. Uh, because since you brought up age and guys wearing, do you, do you think that women respond to how old you are or how old you feel? Oh, t- totally how old you feel. Yeah. This is like we were talking about this the other day about how we're not interested. I'm not necessarily interested in dating younger women. I don't have this date younger women thing. I like younger energy. Yeah. And I like being around people with younger energy. And even like even with you guys, I seem to be the senior member here, but I don't feel older than anybody else here. And I don't think anybody sees you as older. You know? No, Jonathan said that the other day. He says, I just see you as Sam. I don't yeah. think it, about age. And that's really cool. Yeah, because yeah, you do not come across older in any way shape or form um so guys if you want to change this area of your life if you think you're old and no matter what age you are and you want to start having a discussion about this getting out there and dating as somebody who is getting up there in years or changing your life or just recovering some of that youth and vitality then you need to get on this webinar with sam remind them when it is again february 24th uh, and it's a it's it's going to be powerful by the way i was just talking to some younger women the other day about dating older men and you can talk to any younger woman, and they have no issues about older men. Well, I've never run into it. And ever. Uh-uh. Ever. Now, whether they date you is a whole other thing. But the whole issue of age is, is out the window. Plus, yeah, you've got all, this, you got all this experience, and you've got these perspectives. You had your heart broken. You're just a deeper, bigger human being. It's just it was and I've emotions. Seen, I've seen the opposite too. I've seen guys who are younger, like say say 35, have a girl tell him that he's too old <laughs> because he acts too old. Yeah. He, he acts like he's an old man. He acts like he's he hasn't got his shit together, for lack of a better term. He you know he's apathetic in his energy, and they're just not interested in that. He just looks he has an old vibe. Yeah. 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 I see that all the time. So. Uh, so again, we're going to get on this webinar. Make sure to sign up. Nice. I look forward to seeing it myself since I'm an older gentleman myself. So for a lot of you that don't know it, I'm actually 51. Um, I don't have any problems with age either. That's, that's the least of my worries. Yeah. Um, and you shouldn't either. It's kind of a ridiculous concept. It's funny. My, uh, we keep, I keep saying we're going to end this call, but I keep going on. So sorry, guys. <laughs> I, if, you're, if you're saying uh, he's going to end it, but he didn't. Um, there was uh, one of my friends... And he was so against, he said, if you ever get married, you need to marry a woman that's over 25. He says, because any woman under 25, it's just not going to work out. He was 58. He married a 19-year-old. I thought he was crazy, you know, getting married to a 19-year-old at 58. And um, they've been married for, I think, close to 10 years now or something. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little less than eight years, um, right around there. They're still going strong. And he said... uh, you know, with her, he was going to break all his rules. He said he had his reasons. Part of it was because he, she wasn't from the United States. We can talk about that too, on, on maybe on the call. I don't know, but um, but yeah, they're going strong now. I don't know where it's going to go in the future with that age gap. But he says for, he's living by the moment. He's been so happy since he's been with her that he wouldn't change a thing. So you know, most guys call some of us over. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Um, guys, uh, when they find out that I date. I dated younger women. They the first question they ask is, "What do you talk about?" It seems like such a preposterous question. What do it we is. talk about? We talk about our days and what we're passionate about and and, and what life. we fe- emotions and our emotional journey, what we're feeling inside, oh, which, doesn't, yeah. which doesn't have an age on it. Everybody's exploring something emotional. Yeah, I don't want to talk about nineteen. 19- 80s politics. Yeah. I mean, or movie, movies you saw in the 80s. And here's the funny part. I've dated <laughs> girls in their 20s that, that loved 80s music. So we were sharing all these 80s songs, and I was sharing it from my perspective, <laughs> having been through the 80s. And, you know, so there's, there's human beings are such complex and intimate and deep creatures. There's always something, unless the person's just not deep at all. Absolutely. Yeah. And that had, age has nothing to do with that at all. Yeah. That, that, does, that could be, you could be 50 years old and be shallow and, and, I did uh, date a woman. I was playing her a song on my ukulele, a, a, a Springsteen song. She goes, wow, did you write that? <laughs> I said, no, that's Thunder Road by Bruce Springsteen. 
Who? <laughs> Who's that guy? I've never heard of him. Um, uh, introduce her to okay. something. Okay, guys. So remember, get on the webinar. What's the date? Last. This is our last time. February now. the 24th. February 24th. Uh, there's going to be a Facebook support page to go with it. If you feel old at all, I don't even care if you're 25. If you yeah. feel like you're getting old for some reason, get on here. Talk to Sam. Let Sam work with you. And, um, this, and to me, this is something that I'm super excited about because... It's, it's the number one of the number one questions we get from you guys. Yeah. So we'll see you in the webinar, or at least Sam will. And who knows, maybe I'll be in one at some point for yeah, guest Yeah, you've got to be a guest speaker, yeah, absolutely. You're yeah. 51 years old. Uh, you 50, qualify. 51 years young. Yeah. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video. And remember, only the confident really live.